Hi everybody, welcome to Cindy Loves Jewelry, and I'm digging over here to make sure that, there we go, to make sure that my microphone is out so that there's plenty of volume here. So, anyway, so I got two jewelry, no, I, actually I got three jewelry lots, but they two of them got mailed together. Um, I won um, a couple auctions, then I did a buy it now. And so, uh, the two auctions I won is from a new seller that I never bought before. Um, and the buy it now is from one of my trusted sellers that I buy from quite often. So, I'm just going to breeze through this first one. I, and I'm separating them. The one that I bought from the seller I buy a lot from, I'm going to do hers first. And then, I'm going to come back later with another video and do the two because they are too long to do. Um all of that and if you see tears rolling down my face is my allergies are crazy today absolutely crazy my eyes are red they're running so let's get going okay so this little heart and it is a clay heart and it's enameled on the top of it and it is a brooch these are two little enamel pin backs there's one and this one here says Rossland, 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 BC, British Can Canada. So, no, British Columbia, British Canada. I'm nuts. So, anyway, they have some writing on the back of them, but. Uh, and then this is a little pair of enamel gold toned moon earrings. Very cool. There's the match. And I'm going to go through this kind of fast, and uh, I've got a makeup of it under my fingernail <laughs> from rubbing my eyes. Just a little stretchy, pearly bracelet. This is just a little uh, silver tone bracelet. It has a brighten look, but it is not brighten. Uh, these are really cool. They're wood, different kinds of wood, and they're actually, the lady put them on a button to hold them. And so they're just silver... Uh, Tone hoops, but the wood is really neat. Different kinds of wood. Almost has a tribal feel. So, another little pin back. It is a rose. Um, this is a pair of fashion earrings, it says. And uh, it's got a little bit of issue to the thing. And so, I'll tell you why I bought this lot. She always offers a free gift and uh or an extra gift that usually has 925 in it or something neat <laughs> and uh, last time i got a really pretty alpaca necklace or pendant i can't remember maybe there were earrings i can't remember I i've slept too long and traveled many miles so this was the special deal and it says on the thing vintage bakelite earrings and they are vintage earrings and they are cool, but they are not Bakelite. And, um, I've already left her feedback, and I won't be filing anything because, um, I still got my money's worth. They're vintage. I can still sell them. Uh, probably get a nice price for them. Not as nice as Bakelite would have got, but I can still sell them. So, anyway, a little card of things, little button earrings, pierced. They'll go to my flea market booth. This is pretty. It is a shell, abalone shell. And it's just on a cord, but it's really pretty. And it's almost as pretty on the back side as it is the front. I like, I love pieces like that. Okay. I wanted to see that. Uh, just a little stretchy looks like gold colored beads. Uh, I mean, they are gold colored beads. They look like gold colored Pearls. This is just a little glass pendant um, on a cord. Nothing spectacular. A little charm bracelet, and it is um, Halloween. So that's cute. Uh, a little um, bird seed Santa 
broke, but the corner of it is broken. It has been glued, and you can tell, so it'll go in a, a junk lot. A little leather tassel. And a little bracelet on a cord. Um, and you're probably saying, okay, why aren't you complaining? Because you're not getting a whole lot of great stuff. I'm not. It wasn't a great lot, but it wasn't a bad lot. I mean... I didn't pay a whole lot for it, so uh, a little brooch. These are little earrings, and I can't remember. I leave my magnet laying over here, and it drifts. Notice, oh, yeah, it drifts. Oh, notice this necklace that I showed you a few things back. Yeah, I had to keep it for a while. It is so cool. I love it. So, that is not magnetic. Yeah, it's got a little bit of magnetic to it. So, just little, they're actually earrings. They're dangle earrings. So, they're kind of cool. These are really nice. These here are very nice. Uh, they are hammered. Uh... I don't know if you call it brutalist or not, but they are hammered. But they're nice, pierced earrings. This is a shell, uh, a carved and cut shell. It's pretty. It has a barrel clasp. It's it's a pretty necklace. So these here are um just it's just a nice strand of faux pearls, and they are faux. They are knotted between them, but they are definitely faux. A two fetal. This here is just a little uh, puka shell bracelet, and yeah, it's magnetic. So I thought I had tested all of that. Anyway, uh, not puka shells. Little um, chips, uh, shell chips. Okay. This right here looks like no. I mean, it looks like it's just. Well, it is what it is, but it is cord, a cord necklace, and these are what I truly do believe to be freshwater potato pearls, and they are definitely pearl. Oh, they are, they are, and um, graduating links, let's see, there's nothing on the tag. I don't know. Leave your thoughts about how much I should ask for. Uh, a stretchy necklace. And you know what? This is a really cool necklace. I love the design. And I love the gray. And the these are. Sh this is a shell of some kind. And the black. But it's on a stretchy thing. So it needs restrung. If I do that, maybe. Yeah. Uh, another stretchy bracelet. This is pretty. I like this. Actually, I don't think there's any piece here that I will sell online. It'll probably all go to my booth. But at a dollar to two dollars a piece, three dollars a piece, there's a few pieces that I might mark three. I'm still going to easily make my money back on the lot. So, anyway, this is one of my favorite things. And uh, I have a, a set of these twisty beads on my eBay in my eBay store, but these are really pretty, and they, um, are muted green, blue, purple, and two, actually two different colors of purple or lavender, and then you can twist them, wear a connector, that's 80s, the 80s called, and this is just a little flower necklace, this is a cute this is a cute bracelet and it looks like it's homemade but the bead is real pretty in it so and a red um, cabochon no they're not cabochons are they cabochons a red plastic necklace uh, I usually put two to three dollars on these and put them in my booth they sell pretty good so and then this is just a little uh blue with a little pearl and they're not stretchy so 
it's a nice. So that was an okay lot. Nothing, you know, to write home about to your mom about. But um, I'm going to go for this one. And then the next one will be much longer because it's actually two lots in one. And so I want to say thank you. And for stopping to view, enjoy yourself. Have great uh, thrifting and sourcing. And uh, be blessed today. Thank you. Bye-bye.